We did it. We hit 20 million trees before 2020. It's amazing. And I want to go through what happened with Team Tree. So my name's Craig. Welcome to Market Power. And I have been collecting the data on Team Trees ever since it started. In fact, I got it just before it started. So I've been able to track exactly what's been happening with Team Trees. And I even made a forecast. I made another video where I forecasted what would happen with Team Trees. And I predicted that we would fail unless we were able to get our acts together. And guess what? We did. So I'm going to go back into the data and I'm going to show you how we were able to get to this point because there were a few miracles that got us here. In fact, it will be apparent to you when you watch this video, when you see the data, you are going to see that there was a chance that we were not going to make it. That's the great part about economics is being able to apply these tools to this data so that way we can see what would have happened if a couple of crucial parts had not happened. So I'm excited to share with you why we were able to get to 20 million trees. First, I need to defend myself because I said that we were going to fail to reach it. And so now we have to go back and say, why did I make the wrong prediction about what was going to happen? And here's the thing. My prediction was pretty dang good. Let's look at what happened when I made my prediction back on November 4th. I said that we were not going to be able to hit enough. And the reason why I said that is because we needed small donors to step up and contribute. And by small donors, I mean people that were donating less than $50,000. Common viewers like you and me. So I made a big assumption about what the mega donors would do. People who gave $50,000 or more. I assumed that they would only account for 25% of the final, that it would be $5 million total coming from mega donors. And I had to make an assumption like that because these mega donors are like inherently unpredictable. We just can't say exactly how much we're going to get there. So I had to make a number and I chose 25%. And I believe I made that call based on the patterns we had already seen. And that was my first big mistake because it turns out that $5 million was a pretty low estimate of what we were going to get from mega donors. Mega donors ended up contributing more than $8 million. They were more than 40% of the final count of this $20 million donation. So I made a, a, a mistake there and that was probably the biggest mistake I made. But it, I'm, even with that mistake, I'm not sure that we would have actually hit it. So if I had correctly predicted the $8 million from mega donors, then we would have needed $12 million to reach our goal. And so now we have to say like, did my original forecast pr properly predict that we would have $12 million from smaller donors by the end of the year? So what did the data say? Here's November 4th where I, when I made that prediction and here's what we saw already. And here is the prediction that I made. This dashed line tells you what I think would have happened if we followed the pattern from the model that I used. Now let's compare that with the actual donations after November 4th. I cannot believe how close those two lines are. It blows my mind how good that model did. And it was just a really simple model of logarithmic growth. And logarithmic growth is something that you use when you see really rapid growth at the beginning and then kind of a tailing off of growth at the end, which is exactly what we saw. We saw all the hype, all the videos coming out right at the very beginning that led to that explosive growth. And then it kind of died off. And you can see that because look how quickly we hit $10 million. And then to get the next $5 million took so long. Now, the nice thing about a model like this is it lets us know exactly when something weird has happened. And we can pinpoint that. You can see here at the end, we get the divergence from the model when all of a sudden there's this lift off and people start donating more. And what happened right here? I had to go back into the data. I looked at it. I found that date. It was December 12th. I don't know exactly what happened on December 12th. I know that a few things happened. We had drop.com make their major donation. Uh, we had uh, Jean-Michel Lemieux. Is that who I'm saying? Am I saying that right, Jean-Michel? Um, he was doing some a sneaker shoe type fundraiser. I don't know exactly what it was. But there were a few things going on on December 12th that might have encouraged people or brought greater awareness. I don't know what it was, but 
it brought it up. If you know what happened on December 12th that led to this shift where people started donating more, let me know in the comments below. But that was definitely a miracle. So the two miracles are the big donors, these mega donors coming in and donating more than we expected. And the second one is whatever happened on December 12th. And before we end, let me tell you about what I think is the biggest disappointment of this whole thing. And that is the YouTube matching donation. The last time I checked, YouTube's matching donation was only up to $640,000. Now I imagine YouTube was just continually donating so we don't have a line that says, YouTube $1 million, but as a recap, I didn't even tell you exactly what this was. YouTube committed to matching donations up to $1 million and only $640,000 was donated ever since that. And that was a long time. It, they couldn't raise $1 million over, it was a month and a half at least of them trying to get this. So there is huge growth on the Team Tree side and not that much growth on YouTube, which is really bizarre. I made a whole video about how weird this was and I just, I don't understand why that happened. If you wanna see that video, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm also gonna put some other videos on Team Trees right here, but this is really exciting that we made it. If you're interested in more stuff on looking at data and economics, subscribe to Market Power and we will see you in the next video.